Next up, worst first impression. This kind of came from the fact of like our kind of stance on reviewing games. Like those those first those first impressions cannot be underestimated. There are plenty of games to play. So um, the thing here though is it doesn't matter what the quality was beyond that. It can be a good or good or bad game beyond the first impression. But okay. Who who cares if it's good or bad from here? That was ugly. So. The nominees. So you just start playing a game, and then you just that's it. You you could have you could have come back to it, but still, like just that bad taste in your mouth. Okay. So, uh, Battlefield Four, which still has bugs. Yeah. Um, Buggle. Buggle. How would you say Bug- it? Bugglefield. <laughs> Sim City. <laughs> Sim City's launch. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Aliens. Colonial Marines. This feels kind of similar yeah. to another category. Um, NBA Live 14. <laughs> Rise of the Triad. Mm. Hey, that didn't come up in our rem- our. It didn't. Remakes. Marvel Heroes. <laughs> I wonder who voted for that one. <laughs> Vendetta. Gun Monkeys. Goop. Oh, my God. Gun Goop's Monkeys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, other nominees receiving no votes. State of Decay's PC launch. Uh, Sonic Lost World and Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Um, huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we want to cut here? Um, I thought Rise of the Triad was going to be terrible. So uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Who thought it was going to be good? And who was excited that Rise of the Triad was coming back? <laughs> Like, I remember, like, the, the campaign for that was like, he, finally, Rise of the Triad. And we're like, all right. It's like it's, Arc Razor. It's pretty like, oh, terrible. Arc Razor's coming back. In, in, like, really? in that okay. vein. In that vein, Gun Monkeys. Oh, wait, Gun Monkeys goes too in that vein as well? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, 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 well I mean, does, does this have to be games you thought might be good and then no, it, ha- no, it was bad? No. Okay. No. I don't want to, yeah, you're. Beat up the mic, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's not a professional. <laughs> he doesn't know how to navigate in any regard, if anything. I mean, NBA Live 14 is up there for me because, like, because of that initial PlayStation 4 stream that got out. Okay. And everybody formed their opinion because they watched one guy and just how broken that game actually was, and it just never stood stood a chance. So okay. Um, does the Alien Colonial Marines like to me? It's just it's just flat. <laughs> like it never. Or yeah. maybe that like the bugs start popping up later because the I don't know those first couple missions weren't terrible, they weren't yeah. good. But like for, the first impression wasn't what killed it. There just... there are impressions worse <laughs> on this list than aliens, and I had low expectations. Okay, we okay with cutting aliens? Yeah, for first impression. Yes. Those are, I don't know, those top three are pretty strong. And at Marvel Heroes, I would say it's it's a burn, it's a slow burn to figure out that you yeah. don't enjoy it. So okay, <laughs> yeah. I think Gun after, Mon- be, after beating the game, Gun um, Monkeys, we tried. So it I think, wasn't. I actually think Gun Monkeys would have been way better if it just let more than two people play. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I hated most about it. I didn't, I didn't hate the game. I just thought it could have been more fun with more people. Yeah, I thought. But we could. Yeah, we can take it off. And <laughs> wait, sorry. Wait, who pub- find out who published Rise of the Triad? Because we've got three EA games, isn't it? Above it. <laughs> <I thought. laughs> Two of which they apologized for. Did they ever apologize? I don't think they apologized for Sin City. Uh, uh, they indirectly, they did. Yeah. Um, Man, Jason, you spent sixty bucks bucks on some Apogee City Software family. is the publisher. Oh, yeah, it was Apogee. Okay. Well, that's the okay. That is not a good feeling. So lay down sixty bucks for yeah, the game. I, and I then, still have to. I still have to knock Triad down just from a kind of a who cares. Yeah. Of, I feel that way. All right. Sim City. Was kind of my vote for who this. Who here played Battlefield Four and experienced I, those bugs? I have not. I have a friend. I've just, I've just heard a lot of people talk about him. Yeah, I wonder. Hasn't hit the bugs. 
I, I, I wondered I if think, it's as bad as what it sounds or if it just got kind of blown out of proportion. I've also heard that, like, you know, they're fixing the bugs, and once they fix the bugs, it's Battlefield 4. It's great. You know, it'll be a great, fun game, but, like, SimCity. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, We're gonna say it even, wasn't just a bad first impression because of the bugs and that kind of stuff, but it was a bad first impression on what EA was going to be doing with the series, like yeah. having that you know constantly yeah. online and that it's kind like, of yeah, thing. You, did, so that, you I mean, just killed the franchise. Yeah, yeah, right. and, that, and that's the <laughs> great yeah, worst first the, impression. You can even do. with the Battlefield bugs, like it's still Battlefield. Like you'll you'll still come back to that. You'll still like you're not gonna give up. Yeah, I mean it. people are still gonna play it. But Sim yeah, that's City, true. Like, Sim City. Yeah. This is not a feel-good category, is it? <laughs> no. no, it's not. <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> Debbie Downer. Worst is in the title. Uh, worst this first impression. Bring the bad goes memories. Goes to SimCity. Uh, Runners-up, Battlefield 4 in NBA Live 14. Congratulations to Congratulations. Electronic Arts. R- Runner-ups. <laughs> you <laughs> almost Arts. made it. it. Wasn't the intent, but, but you did that it. happened. They don't think they need to make impressions anymore. <laughs> they think people are really buying into EA. Hmm. <laughs> 